Oh, it's not fixed yet. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> All right, Miles, what are we doing today? We are fixing Hynotics. Hynotics uh, transmission steering, right? So we're on a... Shifting and throttles. Shifting and throttles. We're on a, what, a 50 C-Ray? 56 foot C-Ray. So we got called out because these are all hydraulic controls here and here so hydraulic so this one wasn't working now it works perfectly so what happened was is um miles had tried to do it yesterday couldn't get it so he asked me to come out and and help him do it this is easier with a two-person job so down in the engine room we'll walk down there Miles is in here. It's a pretty big engine room for a fucking for a scenery. So that's the hynotic tank right there. That's your charging valve right here. And so you've got one for your throttle, two for your throttles, two for your transmissions. We figured out that it was this one right here. And we went to the bridge and ripped apart the shifter and we weren't getting anything on the supply side. So I kind of knew that it was the charging valve. So we came down here. The charging valve head was completely frozen in here. Almost didn't get it out. But once we got that out, we cleaned it all out. There's tiny little orifices in there that sometimes stuff will get stuck in. So I was thinking that's what happened. And once we did that, we pressurized it up to 20 pounds and we started getting fluid up to the bridge. So I put the system back together again up there. And then Miles and I came back down here and started bleeding the rest of the system. So on the transmission, there's your supply and your supply return for your transmission. And this actuates that little thing right there, which makes the transmission go in and out of gear. But if you've got air in the system, then there's no way it's gonna get hydrolocked or air locked. And so that's what happened. Um, so you just gotta be patient, bleed the system. We got 85 pounds on it now. Everything's going good? Going good. Keynote, have fluid. Have fluid, we'll travel. So we're gonna put everything back together again and fire it up and just make sure she goes in and out of gear and call this one done. All right, so while Miles is down in the engine, I'm just vacuuming up stuff. Here's one that I brought that I've rebuilt um, before. Here's your bleeder valve at the top. And then this is your actuating arm here. This right here is your supply. And that goes down to the throttle or transmission. So I disconnected this first, had no fluid coming up to here. So I knew that it was, like I said, the um, the charging valve. So I fixed that and then put 20 pounds on and fluid was blown out of here. So then I reconnected it to here. Then I went up to here, bled that, moved this back and forth, which then actuated this. And then we had to bleed it down in the engine room, which I just showed you earlier. Takes some time. You gotta keep pressurizing it, um, filling up the tank, but that's how that system works so that's high nautic so pretty simple if it's not pressurized and you're not feeling anything it's not moving then you've got air in the system and you just got to bleed it out there we go engines running they working caterpillars are shifting we moving fixed nice and easy Uh -huh. no. So that was the shifter that was bad. Notice before it had no, it just had 100% throw to it. And Dead now you stick. can feel the detent. Oops, I I'll just shut the engines off. That's a terrible design. <laughs> that's a terrible design. If you can shut both engines yeah, off, you you just, click, click, just click, click those two buttons and that's oh, it. Yeah, that's bad. All right, so it's 10 o'clock. We started at what? 8.30. Yeah, it's just a pain in the ass to bleed it. So it's just bleeding. It's it. The main thing's having fluid to mm -hmm. keep doing it. Got to get the air out. So that's it on the next job. We're going to do some training on a, a boat kind of like this, a little bit smaller. So the owners are going to head back up to New Hampshire, and they've never owned a boat before. So, should be great. So, we'll see what happens. That's it.
And I ended my day just like I normally start my day, ripping a rag out of a head pump that somebody threw down the toilet. So that's the end of my day. So the good and the bad. And uh, thanks for watching. Uh, appreciate it. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. We'll see you guys on the next trip.